Hello viewers, welcome to my channel and today's topic is uh, uh, tuberous sclerosis, you know, but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like, subscribe and uh, share these videos to support this channel. And uh, if you need more information, uh, you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com or alternatively you can click the link in the description area just below this video, you know, and it will lead you to the website. I will come to the topic, uh, tuberous sclerosis, what is it? You know, it's also known as TS, or uh, tuberous sclerosis complex, you know, and uh, uh, TC, T, TSC, you know. And it's a complex, uh, it's a rare genetic condition uh, that causes like uh, non-cancerous or the B9 tumors to grow uh, in the brain and the other vital organs and the skin, you know. And uh, sclerosis means uh, like uh, uh, hardening of the tissues, you know. And uh, uh, the tubers means uh, are the like uh, root shaped growths, you know. So the, it can be inherited or it can cause uh, by the spontaneous gene mutation, you know. And the, some people uh, only have the mild symptoms while the others experience like uh, development or delay, you know, or autism or intellectual disability or seizures, you know, tumors, uh, skin abnormalities, you know. And uh, uh, this disorder can be uh, present at birth, you know. But the symptoms may be like... Uh, uh, mild uh, in the beginning, you know, and uh, it takes years to develop it fully, you know, and uh, uh, there's no known cure for this uh, condition, you know, but the most people can expect to have a normal lifespan and the treatments are triggered, like uh, they are targeted at the individual symptoms, you know, and the careful monitoring by a doctor is advised, you know. So, you know, The next question is like uh, uh, how uh, prevalent is a tuber uh, 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 tuberous uh, like a uh, sclerosis you know or uh, a TS you know you know uh, this condition is uh, very difficult to like uh, recognize you know and diagnose so uh, the actual number of cases could be higher than uh, what we know, you know, and uh, uh, it also like uh, uh, TS also like you know that uh, uh, you know the one third of the cases are inherited, and uh, two third are uh, like thought to occur from the spontaneous genetic mutation, you know, and if one uh, parent has this uh, uh, tuberous sclerosis, you know, uh, their child has a 50% 50 50 uh, chance of inheriting it, you know. And, uh, you know, the scientists uh, have identified the two genes which are called uh, uh, TSC1 and uh, TSC2. And uh, these genes can cause this condition, but having only one of these can result in the disease you know, and the scientists are working to find out exactly what each of these genes do and how they affect the, uh, like, uh, uh, the, this condition, you know. Uh, but they think the genes suppress tumor growth and uh, they are important in the fetal development of the skin and the brain, you know. So, a parent with a mild case of the uh, uh, like a, a tuberous um, sclerosis, you know, may not have or may not be aware of the condition until their child is diagnosed. And uh, uh, the two third of the cases of uh, this condition are the result of the spontaneous mutation, uh, with uh, neither parent passing on the gene, you know, and. Uh, 
the reason for this mutation is a mystery you know we don't know and there's no known way to prevent it you know and uh, uh, diagnosis can be confirmed uh, with the genetic tests uh, when considering the genetic testing for the family planning and uh, it's very important to remember that only one third of the TS cases are inherited so if you have the family history of the uh, tuberous sclerosis you know uh, it's uh, possible to get the genetic testing to see if you carry the gene you know and uh, uh, next thing is what are the signs and the symptoms you know uh, of the tuberous sclerosis you know well there is a like broad range of symptoms uh, which uh, vary like greatly from one person to other person you know and uh, the very mild uh, cases can uh, like present few symptoms and in other cases uh, the people have the variety of uh, intellectual and the physical disabilities you know and uh, the most common symptoms include like uh, developmental delay you know seizures and uh, intellectual disabilities uh, abnormal heart rhythms you know uh, non-cancerous growths uh, the tumors of the brain and calcium deposits on the brain and non-cancerous tumors of the kidneys and the other organs like heart you know growths around the are uh, the underneath of the fingernails and the toenails you know the growths on the retina are the pale patches on the eye you know growths on the gums and the tongue and uh, like uh, uh, pitted teeth you know and uh, you know area of the skin that uh, uh, like uh, uh, have decreased pigment you know or raised skin with the texture like an uh, orange peel uh, which is usually on the back so these are the common signs and the symptoms which are associated with the tuberous uh, sclerosis you know now the next thing is uh, how to diagnose the uh, tuberous sclerosis well it is diagnosed by the genetic testing I said earlier you know or other series of tests like uh, which may include like MRI of the brain or CT scan of the head you know and electrocardiogram echo cardiogram you know and kidney ultrasound eye examination and uh, like looking at your skin under and uh, like uh, wood's lamp you know wood's lamp is kind of uh, uh, it uh, uh, uses the ultraviolet light you know and uh, the seizures are the delayed development are uh, uh, mostly the first sign of this condition you know and there is a, a wide range of the symptoms associated with this condition and uh, a precise diagnosis will require the CT scan and the MRI along with the full clinical examination you know and evaluation you know so this way your doctor will be able to diagnose the, uh, this condition you know you know the tumors uh, from uh, this uh, tuberous sclerosis uh, they are not cancerous they are non-cancerous you know and uh, but they may become a very dangerous uh, in case where they are not treated you know like uh, uh, the brain tumors you know they can block the flow of the cerebral spinal, cerebral spinal fluid you know and uh, uh, like uh, the heart tumors can cause the problems at the birth by like blocking the blood flow or causing a uh, the irregular heartbeats you know and these tumors are usually uh, they're large at the birth but generally get smaller uh, as the child grows you know and uh, the large tumors can uh, get in the way of the normal like kidney function you know and it can lead to the kidney failure and uh, like if the tumors are in the eyes and they are too large you know they can block the retina causing the vein loss or the blindness you know so these are the complications you know once diagnosed then uh, you know what are the treatment options is the next uh, uh, thing you know you know the symptoms can uh, vary so much from person to person and there's no kind of universal st standard treatment you know and the treatment is planned for each individual and uh, a treatment plan must be tailored to meet the needs to relieve the symptoms you know that develop you know 
and your doctor will conduct the regular exams and monitor the uh, throughout your life you know so monitoring should be included in regular kidney uh, ultrasounds uh, to check the tumors and uh, the some treatments uh, for the specific symptoms like uh, in case of the seizures you know um, like uh, you know, the seizures can impact your quality of life and the medications can sometimes bring uh, the seizures under control, you know. And if you have too many seizures, uh, the brain surgery may be another option, you know. Uh, the next thing is in case of the mental disability and the developmental delay, like uh, problems like uh, special educational programs can be helpful, you know, occupational therapy and medications, you know. And if there are growths in the skins, you know, uh, uh, there's a laser treatment can be used to remove the small growths on the skin and improve your skin appearance you know so the laser treatment is helpful it's another option you know in case of uh, skin growths you know and uh, uh, in case of the tumors surgery can be done to remove you know and improve the function of the vital organs you know uh, And these are the treatment options, you know, and uh, this is a long time as a lifelong uh, problem, you know, so uh, you need to be monitored uh, throughout your life, you know, I've spent, you know. And uh, if your uh, child shows signs of a kind of a developmental delay, uh, like behavioral problems or the mental impairment, in that case, the early intervention can significantly improve the uh, ability to function and improve their quality of life, you know. And the serious complications include like uncontrolled seizures, uh, controllable seizures, you know, uh, tumors of the brain, tumors of the kidney, and tumors of the heart, you know. And uh, if these complications are not treated, they can lead to the premature death, you know. And the, and the people diagnosed with the, uh, this condition should find a doctor who like understand how to monitor and treat uh, uh, this condition you know because the symptoms may uh, uh, vary so greatly in each person so uh, it affects the uh, long-term outlook you know uh, there's no standard cure you know um, and what you can expect to have the normal life uh, lifespan you know uh, with proper treatment and with the proper medical care. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit our website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you. Goodbye.